Hey Pisces, welcome back to the channel guys. If you are new, you are welcome guys. Anything about me will be down in the description box. Guys, and if you're not a Pisces, I read for the collective under your inner chakras. That information is down in the box, too. That's my main channel. Um, let me see what else. Pisces, I just looked, and I don't think I read your October. What are we, the third day in, the fourth day? I keep hearing this beep. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to have to find out. I'll find out after this, right? <laughs> Holy Spirit for Pisces. What messages do you have, guys? Pisces, thank you for watching. That's important. All right, Pisces, what's happening in October? We're using the horror deck and the horror book. I, I can't stand saying that word by itself. It's like I have to say a horror movie because it doesn't sound right by itself. All right, Pisces, what is going on in October? Holy Spirit for Pisces. Let's go with it, Pisces. What is that? It looks like the chariot. Y'all know these are those cards that I can't read. Pisces, somebody's moving on in the chariot. And they have no regrets. The five of cups is in reverse. They have no regrets, guys. And they're not in hangman. So they're not caught up in their head anymore like they're not unsure about walking away they're not unsure about leaving they're not unsure about closing the door right Pisces this may be you two of pentacles though you are juggling you're juggling two things Pisces do I do this do I do that do I play with the devil or do I go with spirit look at that one hand is telling you come this way and the other hand is like no come this way right one's the good hand one's the bad And then we have, what is this? Four of Pentacles in reverse. This person is moving on slowly. Pisces, this may be you. But you're definitely moving on, right? You're not being overly cautious anymore, right? What's going on? Let's get the book. Let's do the chariot, right? Pisces, could this be your last ride? Stop or go. The choice is yours. But there's no going back. The chariot, like a horse-drawn hearse, has a clear destination. Deliver its corpses to their grave or else. So you have the upright. No matter how difficult the road, no matter how difficult the road, stop at nothing to reach your goals. When the fear threatens to take over, hold on for dear life until you arrive at your final destination. All right. Pisces, so you're definitely moving on, right? And you're moving on with no regrets. It's in reverse. And you're saying to yourself, breakups happens. And although the ending is painful, there is a sense of relief uh, that the strife has come to an end. This five of cups can represent the recovery from loss or a feeling of restored hope. So Pisces, you're moving on and you don't have any regrets. You're like, you know what? Breakups happen all the time. Maybe this one hurt more than the other one, but I can get over this, right? So you're no longer a hangman. Your hangman is in reverse. Let me get to your hangman. Yep. Hold up. I'll get to your hangman in a second. But your hangman is in reverse, Pisces. So you're not caught up in your head, right? Where's my hangman, baby? All right. Hangman is in reverse. Confined by life's trappings, the hangman becomes complacent to coming to the decisions that led him to an avoidable demise. But in reverse, are you in a precarious situation you cannot escape? The walls of life's cage can close in on you, making it feel impossible to break the chains that bind you. Even though the situation feels hopeless, there's still a way out. You just have to find it. So... This person here, they're trying to find a way out, guys. They're not going to bend. It's like, you know what? I feel chained in. I feel backed in. Somebody got the key to the birdcage. Like, I am locked in. But they said, that's not going to stop me. It's not going to stop me, right? It's not going to stop this person from moving on. So, they have decisions. Two of Pentacles. 
There are several things in motion, right? But it's not easy to juggle them all. The Two of Pentacles is a sign that your activities are affecting your finances. You need to figure out a way to bring balance back into the picture. So this could be affecting their work. It could be affecting everything. It's affecting their money because it's on their mind. Somebody really wants to move on, but they're having a hard, hard time. But the longer they wait, they're losing money. It could be affecting their job. It could be affecting everything, right? So then we go to the Four of Pentacles in reverse. You're worried that you will not have enough, but you have plenty. You are focused on what you need and not what is already in your possession. Remember to not be greedy with what you have, but grateful for it. So Pisces, you need to know that you have enough. Maybe you feel like you need a little bit more to go forward. Maybe you need, oh, I need to have this before I can do that. Or I got to have this before I can do that. That could take years, right? Mm -mm. Spirit said bounce. Spirit said bounce right now because you have enough right now right sometimes you may have just enough to pay your bills and eat guess what it's better than being there then pay your bills and eat right pay your bills eat go to work pay your bills eat go to work get that under your wraps get a part-time job i don't know do something online to where you don't have to leave your house actually use your phone it's a lot of jobs on your phone believe it or not mm-hmm so you have enough Pisces, so don't let that deter you. But you are trying to figure a way out, right? What's going on for Pisces in October? Pisces in October, you're making a move. Make that move. Groove right now, Pisces, right? Let's see what we got, Pisces. A nine of pentacles in reverse doesn't want that chariot to move. Nine of Pentacles doesn't want that chariot to move. No, they don't. And Pisces, you've been placing your trust in others, right? And making poor decisions that can lead you to ruin. Asking others to help you when you can do certain things for yourself can create problems. So Pisces, stop asking people for help. Stop asking people to get on. Stop asking people, how can I do that to do this when you already know how to do it? You already know how to do it, right? Pisces, this is either you or your person, right? It's either you or your person. We got the emperor in reverse. So it's not you, Pisces. Flip it immediately. If you're dating a Pisces, flip it. Go back and forth. We got the emperor in reverse. This person here, they're dealing with, or you could be dealing with Pisces, manipulative people. And you're, they're struggling with control issues. But that does not mean you have to allow them in your life. You get to decide the rules you live by. And when you find that someone is crossing a boundary, let them know by asserting the right to choose what is best for your own interest. Pisces, stop letting people control you. And stop asking these people for help. Because sometimes you'll ask somebody for help and then they'll tell you, you don't need to do that. No. Everybody on this page is grown. Do it for yourself unless you really, 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 really need help. But make sure you get that help for somebody that's your ride or die. Somebody that's rooting for you. That, that your, your cheerleader. Don't get nobody that's half-hearted ass, you know. No. Get somebody that got your back. Pisces, you got the devil right here. The devil's right here. The devil right here in your reading. And we're going to find out why. All of this is happening in the month of October, Pisces. Get yourself together. You're moving on, right? You're moving on, Pisces. I will encourage you right because these people are pushing you around they're telling you what to do they're telling you how to do it mm -mm, pisces mm -mm, pisces now what'd you get you got the double in the upright the king of archinoids the king of archinids i'm saying it wrong weaves his ultimate web ready to take a life-sucking bite out of every victim he faces like the devil, a person's temptations and vices create a web that can be difficult to escape once one is insinated, right? Pisces, you've been tempted, tempting you to do what you want. The devil uses a web of lies, weaving one strand at a time until you're trapped in sticky netting. Don't get yourself stuck in a situation you'll regret. Pisces, you in the chariot right here. You in it. 
Go forward. Go forward. There's nothing here for you. These people are controlling. They're mean. They're vindictive, right? Empress in reverse. Ooh, 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 ooh. Empress in reverse. Feminine and protective. The Empress rules life-giving energy and the birth of new opportunities, but she is capable of bearing evil consequences when you fall into temptation. This Empress is in reverse. Is that a knot in your stomach when worry and self-criticism eat away at your emotions? Remind yourself that everyone makes mistakes. View your experiences as lessons to learn and grow, grow from. This is a moment of rebirth. So basically, you have an empress here, a baby mama in reverse, or it could be your own actual mother, an aunt, a sister. It's a feminine energy, right? This person, they just get in your ear, right? And they just criticize you, and then they make you worry um, to where you start eating away at your own emotions, right? Get away from this person. This person tempts you. Good, bad, or indifferent. They tempt you. Get away from that person. You're not strong enough to be around that person, right? You're not strong enough to be around that person. Now, here's the Queen of Wands up right. Is this where you're trying to get to, Pisces? Let's read about this Queen of Wands. This is probably where they're trying to go, but we're going to find out. Page Knight, Queen Upright. A ruthless, natural organizer and razor-sharp businesswoman, the Queen of Wands is capable of catering to the needs of others or draining their blood. Despite the risk, she can be a helpful friend and mentor. Call that woman. Call that woman. Because she's a mother. Call that woman. <laughs> she's about about it, right? You've heard it. She's about about it. Let me tell you again about this woman here, right? It says this woman here. Who is it? Yep, Queen of Wands. It says she's ruthless. A natural organizer and razor sharp businesswoman. Razor sharp. That means she got it going on. She's like, bam, 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 bam. She don't miss a beat, right? She's capable of catering to your needs. So she's very sensitive, very loving, very caring, right? Or she can drain your blood. Despite the risk, she can be a helpful friend and mentor. So Pisces, if you know this Queen of Wands here, Call that person. They can probably help you get out of what you got in. Right? They can probably help you get out of what you got in, Pisces. You better call that Queen of Wands. <laughs> call them. Call them. <laughs> Holy Spirit, Pisces, you better call them. <laughs> okay? Call that woman. She looks like she's no nonsense. She don't play. All right, Pisces, what else you got in October? Mm. Call <laughs> All right, Pisces. You and your Eight of Cups energy. Good for you. Upright. To me, that lets me know nothing else could be done. Am I right? Am I right? Yes. Let's get to this Eight of Cups for upright for my Pisces. Pisces. The Eight of Cups remind you to walk away from a serious problem that cannot be solved. It's all right to deviate from plans when things don't feel right. Pisces, it's not working for you anymore. You know it's not working for you anymore. You said that the first card in, right? You did. You did. And then the 11th card reminded you. The first card in told you to get the hell on in the chariot, right? What is this, Pisces? So we got the Two of Wands in reverse. Pisces, you better get on. Even Spirit is telling you. So we got the two of wands in reverse. So Pisces, a plan didn't work out. Something you had in your mind didn't work out. An unreliable person did not do what they said they would do. And you were left feeling disappointed with the outcome. So Pisces, you got played. You got lied to, bamboozled. Somebody didn't come in on their end of the bargain. It didn't happen. They lied to you, Pisces. Then we got the lovers in reverse. They played you, Pisces. They did. Somebody said, we're going to do this, 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 and this. And we're going to do this, 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 and this. And I'm going to love you. And we're going to do this. And we're going to do this. And we're going to do this. And Pisces, none of it happened. Now you're feeling stuck. Let's get to this lovers here. 
Now you're feeling stuck, Pisces. Lord, just like a Pisces, always falling in love with the wrong act, wrong people. We do it to ourselves, Pisces. We too damn nice. I'm going to teach a class on Pisces how to be nasty, right? We got to figure out a way, Pisces, on how to be nasty. Give it back to people the same way they give it to us. Stop being so damn gullible and nice, right? Pisces, we are. We're nice. I can't even find the lovers. You know why? It's not meant for me to find it. <laughs> it's not meant for me to get to it. Maybe they snatched that page out. Pisces, I don't know, but we too nice. So where's this lovers? Lovers in reverse. Like the deep desire of a couple destined to be together but cursed by circumstances beyond their control, the lovers embrace tightly in the dead of night, unaware of what danger lurks to pull them apart. In reverse, Pisces, true love never dies. But when trust is broken, it's hard to get back to innocence. You can work things out or go separate ways. If your heart isn't in it, don't pretend. Be truthful. Say what you really feel. Pisces, I'm going to tell you to run. Because all these people here, they very controlling and they quite nasty. Now, you can choose to stay, Pisces. That's on you, right? Who do you love more? You or them, right? Right. Stay with me, Pisces. I'm going to teach you how to be a little mean. Because we're, we're too nice, Pisces. I'm going to teach you how to be a little mean, okay? So then what do we have here? Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Let's see. See, Pisces, all this is going down in October. Pisces, you're either walking away from something because they treat you like shit, basically. Pisces, so you got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. In reverse, the Ten of Pentacles represent money problems in the family. Death brings about fighting over the estate. Marriage for the wrong reasons. You probably married this nook nook. Marriage for the wrong reasons. Or a union of mismatched partners. Think about your true reasoning behind your decisions, Pisces. Is it from a misguided or selfish place? Pisces spirit is spanking that ass in October. You know why? Because you're sitting there. You're sitting in something. You're not happy. You're miserable. The people there that's in it, they mess with you. They get in your head. Then they make you uh, second guess yourself. Pisces, come on now. Page of Pentacles. Where's my page, baby? Page of Pentacles in the upright. Pisces, you're not scared of what's under the bed. The Page of Pentacles is a resourceful and resilient person. So Pisces, you're not afraid of what's under the bed. So spirit is telling you to make a move, right? Make a move. Pisces, what are you scared of? What are you scared of, Pisces? I got a feeling you're afraid of a woman. <laughs> Holy Spirit, Pisces, what are you afraid of? I, I, I pulled out the Karmic Tales 2 deck. Because Pisces, you're sitting idle. Stop sitting idle in the month of October. What's going on here, Spirit? All right, so somebody's in Pisces' head. Pisces, somebody's trying to persuade you, right? They're trying to use uh, the psychology of persuasion on you, right? And this person here will argue you down, Pisces. They're very argumentative. They don't give up. They're never wrong. It's, mm -mm. Pisces, this person is all up in your face, right? Making you rethink, making you feel bad, making you think you shouldn't do this, making you think you shouldn't do that. That's the party, girl. You probably met that one out and about, right? And then you slipped up. You probably got it pregnant because it said it here that y'all either got married, y'all did something out of haste, something that you shouldn't have done, you know, thinking that it was the right thing to do when it was the wrong thing to do, right? You probably had a baby by it. You're like, you know, I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to marry this person. No, you don't get married because you have kids. No, you get married because you love each other, right? And you can't be without one another. And then the kids come. But you don't get married because, oh, we have a baby. It's like, well, now we got Tina. Tina's three months old. We should get married. I really don't want to get married. I don't either, but we should do it for Tina. Tina don't give a, Tina don't give a F. Ask her when she's 18. Tina be better off with mommy living over here and daddy living over there and then y'all get along separately. 
But living in together, living in the house together with mama, daddy, and then Tina, and y'all don't like each other. Tina don't need that. Baby don't need that. Holy Spirit, Carmen, tell us more, right? Mm mm. Pisces, get that. Guys, I was about to pull it. I'm gonna say it. Pregnant. Karma, you pregnant? Either that or she's going to say she's pregnant. Maybe that's the persuasion. She's going to say, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. You're going to leave me? I'm pregnant. Yeah, I'm going to leave. Send me the bill, right? They have some naughty pictures or something. Maybe they got some dirty pictures of your person, right? In uh, inconspicuous ways, right? Stuff that would be embarrassing. Oh, well. Right? They got some naughty pictures or something. Or maybe they're trying to persuade this person with naughty pictures, you know? Or maybe they saying, you got naughty pictures of this person. I don't know. But this person here, this karmic here is very selfish, very moody, very childish, very petty. There's going to be an important message. Pisces, you may get an important message. Maybe this person is going to try to write you. They're going to say that it's more than one karmic, that you're not the only one. So they're going to try to get into your head too. Somebody's head. This karmic needs a job. Hmm. So come October, Karmic's going to be looking for a job. A lot's going to be going on with your person here. They want to move on, scared to move on. They feel stuck when they're really not. Right? They're feeling stuck when they're really not. Holy Spirit, what else is going on in October for Pisces? Pisces, you're not stuck. I know that. If this is you, if this is your person, guys, flip the energy. But Pisces, you're not stuck and you have enough. Pisces, it's a no for me, right? That's what you're saying. Pisces saying it's a no for me. They don't want this person. They don't want it no more, right? All right. So they were married or they are married. This is a married man. Holy Spirit for Pisces. Yep. Dealing with some injustice, toxic situation. It's an unhealthy environment. My cards are clarifying these cards. It's a very unhealthy environment. They are not happy there. This person could be married. Maybe this man here is trying to get a divorce. But they're like, it's a no for me. Anything else for Pisces spirit? These cards are so dark. You can barely see them. All right. High Priestess. It looks like this person is going to follow their intuition. Let's see. The high priest is in the upright. Prowess with the dark arts provides additional perspective when handling misleading situations. If something doesn't feel right, Pisces, trust your instincts and seek a different path. So, Pisces, you even know this doesn't feel right. You know it doesn't feel right. I think that they jumped and they married this person when they didn't want to. Yep, here's the Hierophant in reverse. Ooh. Yep. The Hierophant in reverse. Oh, the horror. Too much power has fallen into the wrong hands. The forces in control lead weak minds astray using hypocrisy and false religion. It's time to rebel. Break the rules if you dare. So these people or this person, they're getting up in Pisces' head and now they're trying to either throw the Bible at them, the Quran at them, whatever. They're trying to use religion at, on this person here. They're trying to say, okay, you're married. Maybe they're trying to say, you know, from the Bible, blah, 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 blah. You cling to your husband, your wife. So maybe they're trying to use that. Maybe they're trying to say you're not supposed to get a divorce. Blah, 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 blah. They are taking advantage of this person, right? And they feel because this person here, this married man is probably weaker than this woman. And then this is a queen of swords in reverse. So this is the woman that they're trying to get the hell away from. Let's see. Queen of swords in reverse. Mm. As if there is an unseen weight holding you down, you are filled with self-doubt and fear the words. You have lost confidence and do not know which directions to take. Okay, so the feminine in this energy, 
they're filled with self-doubt now and they're fearing the worst because they know this person is about to bounce they know this person is out they know pisces is skipping skipping down the road right so this queen here now even though they pulled out all their nasty tactics and this and that and said i was pregnant they probably wasn't all these things right now they're losing their confidence and do not know which direction to take. Isn't that something? Mm-hmm. Then we got judgment in reverse. Mm-hmm. Y'all see that? See how fast? Mm-mm-mm. So Pisces is definitely going down in October for you. Right? You're, you're definitely walking away from something. What was that, guys? What? Or did I say that was anybody look anybody remember <laughs> where is it was it judgment I think it was judgment in reverse let me just make sure let me just make sure yeah judgment in reverse Pisces or angry voices roaring inside your head self-criticism can eat you alive when you let it get the best of you while it's good to be careful don't let this mindless mob stop you from reaching your goal do the best you can so pisces what's going on here is you're dealing with a tyrant right a mean nasty person and this nasty person you either married it live with it got with it something and now it's like a um what do you call that like a flesh-eating wound right it just keeps coming and keeps coming and it's not letting up pisces so it's, it's actually breaking you down it's making you weak it's making you think Oh, this isn't the right thing to do. Now they're, they're throwing religion at you. They're doing all these things to you, Pisces, to make you stay down. When in reality, that, that they're being very toxic. It's a very unhealthy environment. Pisces, you're not happy here. Make a move. They probably lied and said they was pregnant. This person is wrong. They're trying to use the power of persuasion, Pisces. They're very argumentative. They're never wrong. It's me, 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 me. Pisces, bounce. 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 Get the hell on, Pisces. I'm going to teach y'all how to be mean over here. I'm mean sometimes. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. You learn how to be mean. I'm telling you, Pisces, you do because we're too nice. We're too nice all the time. And people get over on us. Like, we, we lead with the niceness. And we lead with giving and this and that. And we're happy. And we're this and that. And we're this and that. And we're this and that. And it takes a lot before we either let somebody have it or blah, blah, blah. blah. So I learned real quickly I'm going to let you have it sooner in about one or three seconds. It's real quick now for me, guys. I think it comes with age. Learn that, Pisces. Rip it up. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. But if this is your marriage, Pisces, or whatever this is, get out. You're not happy. It said it 10 times. It said it 10 times. All right, guys. Peace.